back again from Lake Havasu City Parks and Recreation. We're here today to do another craft. And today's craft is kind of going to go along with what Ms. Donna and Dutch have been doing uh, with their cooking show. Ms. Donna always has on a really cute little apron and she always says that you, know, you can wear an apron to cover your clothes. Well, today we're going to learn how to cut an apron of your very own out of a t-shirt, an old t-shirt. Okay, so see right here, it's got the ties, it goes over your head. So I'm gonna show you today how to cut your very own apron that you can wear when you're baking those special fun desserts with Miss Donna and Dutch. So the supplies you're gonna need for today's project are an old t-shirt. Make sure that it's something that mom is okay with cutting up. Um, you want it to be a little bit bigger. You don't want it to be a tight fitting shirt, just so that you've got the room to put it on so it covers you in the front. You're gonna need some type of marker. Today I'm using a red marker um, so that I can draw on the cut lines. Um, I'm using red, but any color will do that will show on your shirt cover. You're also gonna need a good pair of scissors, okay? So, like I said, make sure that you talk to mom about doing this project and utilizing all these supplies, but that's all you're gonna need. You ready to get started? Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is turn your shirt inside out, which I've already done. Make sure that the front is on top, okay? So, the diagram for the cut marks is going to be placed on the website if you don't get it while we're doing the video. So it will be there if you have to go back and look at it later. But I'm gonna go ahead and draw the cut marks and show you how it goes, all right? So this is our front, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut along the sleeve line up to the top. It's just like that, okay? We're going to do this one. Okay. This is your front. Okay. Now, what I suggest you do, just so you remember, is you do a line all the way straight down. Okay. It doesn't have to go in. It can just go straight down. But it'll help you do, you do a straight line. So you can get um, a straight uh, a ruler or something to make your mark. Today, I'm just going to freehand it. And you're just going to make your little marks all the way down one side. Okay, so the one thing I forgot to do on this side, which you can remember to do, is you're going to take your two fingers, you need about a good inch and a half, and you're going to put it here. Because we've got to leave a section where you're not going to cut straight across. And we'll start with our marks going all the way down. And this will make more sense when I'm cutting it, and I'll show that to you, okay? So this is your front cut marks. I'm gonna turn it over, and this is our back, okay? The first thing we're gonna do in the back is we're gonna have our cut mark around the collar. Now, it should match this one on this side. So you start at the same place, and just go all the way around. Make sure that they match so you come up at the same place, okay? And the last thing is just straight across the back. Now this is only cut on one side because these are your apron ties. So we're gonna look here, we're gonna see where the mark is. We're gonna start right about there. We're gonna start right about here. And then we're going to leave this one here, go straight across. Okay? And then once we're, and then you can put, you're going to cut this in half. So just use your tag as your center. And this is going to be. Okay? Next thing we're going to do is cut. Okay, 
So next we're gonna get our scissors and we're gonna to start to cut on our lines, all right? So you're gonna start at the top and you're gonna first take off this, the right sleeve, left sleeve, excuse me. We're just gonna follow our lines all the way down. Basically, we're taking off the sleeve. Okay, there's one. And then follow this one all the way down. And this part might, you might have to ask an older brother or sister, or even your mom and dad, or an adult that can help you do the cutting. Okay? And so, as you can see, we've got our top cut. And now we're gonna cut our sides. Now remember, before you start cutting the sides, you have gotta go down a couple of inches, okay? So I'm just gonna make a little cut mark right here. Okay, and I'm gonna do it the same on the other side so I remember where my ties are. Cut it all the way down the side. So remember, this is the front of our apron. And as you can see, Miss Janice's cuts aren't great either. It'll all look good when we're done. We're gonna start from here. Remember, we have to leave that, that gap for our ties. We're gonna cut all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so let's turn it over and do the back side. Okay, now we've turned it over and now we're on our back side. Now remember, when we're doing our back side, we're only gonna cut the back. We're not gonna cut both pieces, just one, the back side, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and cut across here and we'll do our apron lines first. Now remember, once you finish these, there's lots of things you can do with them. You can decorate the front, you can write something on it, you can put a pocket on the front with some glue, or if you are if you have a parent who is um, really good at sewing. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut in half our apron string. Okay, so there we have our ties and the first part, the front of our apron. Now, the last thing we have to do is cut around the top. Now, remember, we're only going to cut this back side, okay? Have a good day. See you soon.